Samsung just went into beast mode. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another video. So, guys, we know that Samsung is one of the best innovation companies when it comes to mobile industry. It was the first ever company that introduced the Galaxy Note devices and a larger phone form factor. But it turns out later in the year that Galaxy Note devices were one of the best devices of all time and also the larger screen form factor has been introduced in almost all these companies devices. Now the same thing is happening with the foldable devices. When they were first launched, most of the tech world people criticized that this is not going to be the form factor of the smartphone world and it is too fragile, it's too expensive and it will not last longer. But it turns out after two generations of the foldable, Samsung has produced some of the best innovative device right now. They are cheaper right now from the previous generation and they are also more durable. Now we have the IPX8 rating for water resistance and also the frame is more durable than the last year model so definitely samsung is putting some work on that and it has proved in the sales of the z fold 3 and the z flip 3 according to a bloomberg reporter on twitter which shares some data about the pre-orders in the south korean market that the 900k pre-orders has been done by Samsung in the South Korean market in just 5 days. It is not the case in the South Korean market. The popularity of the Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3 has been in all around the world and Samsung has so much pressure on them that they have delayed their Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3 devices shipment to most of the customers and definitely both the devices are selling like a hot cake. The data shares has indicated that 70% of the foldable devices are going to be the Z Flip 3 while the Z Fold 3 only got the 30%. The success of the pre-orders not only come in the home markets of Samsung or some of the biggest market of smartphone worlds but also in the price sensitive markets like India has also seen some of the upwards like 2.7% more pre-orders than the Galaxy Note 20. And speaking about the previous flagship level devices like the S21 and the Note 20 devices, Samsung has significantly beat both of these devices and they were one of the best selling smartphones from this year and the last year Note and S series devices. I hope they bring some of the best record for the foldable devices this time around. Also this success will bring Samsung to number one position if the pre-orders and the sale of the Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3 continue like that because as we already know that Samsung is not the number one smartphone company right now and, and Xiaomi has surpassed them a few weeks ago. But it looks like Samsung is going to beating them all just because of the Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3 sale and we definitely think that this is going to be happening because the gap between both of them is pretty low. So guys I am definitely looking forward towards that. I definitely think that the Z Flip 3 will become the one of the best selling smartphone from past few years and it's going to be the future of the four levels. Anyhow let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Peace.